What's going on everybody? Welcome back to G Maya's World and EA Sports has released another update to the flashback promo this time with 90 overalls. We're going to go ahead and take a look at uh, the store, um, you know, deals and sales that they have inside of there. I would not recommend. Again, listen, this is the situation. A 90 overall quick sell for 5,000 training. The 89 is 3,600. All right, that's a 1400 diff, 1400 training difference. I would not recommend it. I don't think that it's smart. Many of you guys have listened, some of you have not. The gamble is just not worth it in my opinion. But again, if you have an abundance of training and you're trying to convert it to coins, this is one way that if you get lucky, you can do so. All right, but again, I would not recommend it. Just look for the card and buy it outright. The prices are not very high because the cards are trash. So look, this is what we're gonna talk about, right? Many of you guys are raging about how bad Tom Brady's card is, and I understand. All right, look, look, the guy, his card is not as good as we want, and many of you guys are upset. You know why? Because you realize that what I told you about set feet lead is true, but you don't want to listen. Yo, set feet lead is just as good as Gunslinger. No, it's not. Okay, no, it's not. Um, you, you can make believe whatever you want. Like, if we want to use our imagination, no SpongeBob, we could do that if you want, but I'm going to tell you the truth. So I'm like that dude that, you know, everybody's lying to you about something like, you remember like American Idol? You had to be the worst friends ever to tell any of your friends that they had talent and they went on there and just embarrassed themselves. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to tell you you can't sing. That's the difference between me and everybody else. I'm going to let you know what's going on. So this card right here, Tom Brady, a lot of you guys are raging uncontrollably. Obviously, they continuously, I think they released another five new players. Um, I think that Amos card is pretty good, but we're going to focus on this, right? This is a flashback to when he beat the brakes off the Titans. All right, final score was 59-0, 380 passing yards, six touchdowns. Let's see how EA rewards his card. A whopping 88 throw power. So look, right away, right? If you have a theme team, even with the theme team, let's go, right? You're going to go power up to an 89. You're going to add four more. So you can have a 93 throw power. You're going to have some deep accuracy, whatever. Um, you know, medium accuracy might make that threshold, short accuracy. We all know he could he could dump it down low. But Tom Brady made some... Um, th this is going back to 2009. And people have to give him his credit. He's never been known for, like, having a rocket arm. But the dude, oh, he makes the throws that are necessary. And when he had Randy Moss, he was throwing that thing, like, 60, 70 yards, bro. Like, but... Nobody wants to talk about that. Everybody wants to make it seem like he can't throw the ball. Just look it up, you know, YouTube it and see what's going on. The man can throw the ball. In 09, Brady was throwing that ball. Of course he's not Mahomes, he's not, you know, Matthew Stafford, he's not Dante Culpepper, all these guys with huge arms, he's not those guys. But they could have been a little bit more generous and started them off like maybe a 90-91. To give him these mediocre numbers, it makes it very, very difficult for people to want to utilize the card, even though it is Tom Brady. Now, the field general aspect, that's all good. The dude is a 59 speed, okay? You got dead roaches outrunning him, dude. Like, it's not gonna be anything that's gonna be exciting. So, for, for those of you guys that are wondering, like, yo, Jumai, what's up with this card? What do you think? I think that EA hates Tom Brady. Like, I, I agree with you guys, because it doesn't make any sense for them to give, and, and again, look, I understand it's a 90 overall. Some of you guys missed the point, or you just don't understand Madden, and that's fine, but many of the viewers do understand what I'm saying. You don't have to raise his overall, but you can give him certain attributes that make him more appealing. Because if you don't, that's what drives people away from the cards. You see what I'm saying? Like, you have to understand that people, the MATA community, as bad as it is, everybody understands to a certain degree what works and what doesn't. You may not want to admit it, and a lot of you guys are like, yo, you know, Jemai, you be, you be raging and you be changing stuff every day. Well, guess what? The game gets tuned every day, guys. You know, every day you play a different game. They have a new uh, update coming soon. We're going to talk about that. And then we're going to go ahead and break down some of the notes that they have with those. But the game changes randomly. And you have to change also. Because if you don't, you're going to be, oh, the dude beat me by 50. Yeah, he did. Because you were running the same thing you were running the day before. This game, you have to mentally prepare every time you log in. And a lot of you guys don't realize that. The sooner you guys do, the better you, you know, like right now, I don't even rage as much because I understand what EA's full potential is and what they're doing. They don't want me to like the game, and I understand that. And at the end of the day, I have to be able to understand that when I log in, it's a chance that some wild, savage actions are going to happen. But that doesn't mean that they have to give Tom Brady such a terrible card. That's, that's what my point is, right? Because remember what I was talking to you guys about? The play action, he's gonna get that threshold of 95. So when you run play action, he'll be able to move, because I figured that out uh, with Dante Culpepper. That 95 threshold, when you cancel the play action, they move like animals. The problem is, he's a 59 speed, so he can't go either way. He's done. 
So he's gonna be sitting in the pocket like, yo, all right, I canceled it fast, what am I doing? He also doesn't get gunslinger. So that set feet lead that all of you got, yo, bro, it's the same thing. It is not, it is absolutely not. Okay, gunslinger, you immediately feel the difference. Um, as a matter of fact, uh, prior to utilizing Joe Montana, AKA Joe Montana, where we had Dirty Dan, right? And I, you know, I listened to you guys, I'm like, yo, let me rock this set feet lead. And I, and I threw it and saw that it really, early on it had some impact, and I don't know if people started to complain about it, but EA nerfed it, right? So a lot of people that were using Dan Marino, they jumped to Josh Allen because of Gunslinger, used the one AP and just went crazy. The reasoning behind that and the reason why a lot of uh, players that are pretty decent at the game were using Josh Allen was simply because he was better. Many people were using Dan Marino at that time when set feet lead was the move. Gunslinger is so good though that they had to just abandon it and not even worried about the extra hot routes and all the stuff with, you know, with Hot Route Master because it is a game changing effect and ability within the game. So when you look at this card right now, I know you guys see it in the center of the screen, it's a lot of 80s 87, 86, 87, 81. What are you going to do with this? You can put them on your theme team, you know, put them on the Bucks. That sounds weird me saying that Tom Brady on the Bucks, but you can put them on the Bucks, do whatever you're doing and see how it works out. But more than likely, I'm going to let you guys understand a couple things. You're gonna lose the game simply because the game is not made for a pocket passer with 59 speed. You can get away with John, uh, uh, Joe Montana. You can get away with a couple of the other uh, guys that move around, even Derek Carr, because they, they're not sitting ducks. What most people are doing now, and you guys think I'm joking, if you watch a lot of these pro players or people that you know have decent skill with the game, it's really a thing to send two. Sometimes you send one and get instant pressure. Like you got, if you guys think that's a joke, you haven't been playing people that are decent. You know why they do that? It's very, very hard to cover, uh, you know, certain formations. You got dudes running bunch, you got dudes running, you know, the tight. When everybody is open because defense is so hard to play, they just put everybody in zones and man them up and then send one. And then you're gonna get sacked within three seconds. And that's the way that it's supposed to be. So if you have an issue with that, don't worry about it. EA doesn't care about it. So moving forward right now with this card, a lot of you guys are very, very upset about it, okay? So what would I suggest? I would suggest that you get a QB. I don't care who the QB is, just get a QB with Gunslinger. Many of you guys that thought I was joking about it, you went and tried it out, and then you came back like, all right, I thought you were gonna raid sell him, I thought you were gonna raid sell this guy within a day or so, whatever, and then now you come back, yo, bro, you were right. I'm not doing it to be a guy that wants to raid sell every day. Many of the players on my team are not going anywhere. Deion Sanders is staying, uh, for now, DRC is pretty decent. Like, there's certain cards I'm not worried about. They're not leaving, but there's other cards that as soon as I see anything wrong, like if they walk and they don't go left foot, right foot, left foot, right foot, I'm cutting them from the team. That's different, though, because they, they don't really add much to my squad. But if you are a good player, I'm not raid selling you. There's a lot of guys that's been on my team for very long, and they're not going anywhere, okay? So it's not like I'm trying to do it, but I have to make sure you guys understand when the game changes, we have to change as well. And that's the bottom line. So does EA hate Tom Brady? Probably, but who cares, dude? Nobody's gonna use this card anyway. I'd be very, very surprised if I see anybody using him, even with the theme team. Now, Alex Mack, he's garbage. We all know that, but let me just explain to you guys why he's trash. One of his numbers are really, really low. Was it the, uh, yeah, the pass, block po the pass block power and the pass block footwork? That is disgusting, okay? So even if you don't pass the ball a lot and you wanna go, you know, the run block and you see the 90, that's pretty decent. But this card is trash because what happens is if you meet most of the thresholds at that 90, they play differently. Okay, so that is a huge factor in the game. Um, this guy right here, he's also 311. That's kind of low in weight for the you know for your for your old lineman. I think that um, uh, Kevin will why my weight. What's his weight? I, I don't even know what, where, where's his weight at. I don't, they don't show it. But this guy plays pretty well to be honest. And I have a lot of things I'm going to be adjusting with my team going forward. Um, I actually have the Alex Mack to 83 overall, but I got a couple things because he he's an agile center, so he moves around, but if he chooses the wrong person, you're going to get dominated from the back, and that's a problem, all right? So we don't really want to get into that, but obviously Alex Mack's card, that flashback, is probably not one that I would recommend that you start because his passing is so low, and I think they try to use both of them to correspond to make them kind of, you know, work out the same way. Adrian Amos, somebody might buy that one, right? So let's go to this one and check this out. CJ Mosley is hot garbage. So if you guys want me to check him out, I'll check. Most of you guys are gonna want me to check him out, I'll check it out. This guy right here, he's not a bad card. I'm gonna explain to you why. 
If you run zone coverage, this guy's your guy. If you don't have a lot of coins and you're just trying to put together a team that a guy is going to have a brain and know when the ball's thrown, he's your guy. Why is that? His zone coverage meets that threshold of 90. When you power him up, he goes to 91. He gets that four from lockdown or five. He's at that threshold, the final threshold of 95 zone. Not only that, 91 goes to 92, plus two is 94. That's a decent speed. You know who else's speed is like that? DRC. So that speed's gonna work. He's gonna be able to make plays. Decent hit power, six foot height. He's pretty good. Okay, this is one, this is one that's not an L right here. So you could actually work out something with this guy um, if you wanted to. Me, myself, I can't do anything with him because I have Taylor Mays. He's been brought back to the squad. For those of you guys that didn't know that, we did that on stream. Um, I will update you guys uh, with the team and everything going forward. But that guy, uh, Amos, is somebody you can use actively uh, you know, on your team. Um, so, And then we have uh, Le'Veon Bell, and then we have the other guy. I I'm pretty sure somebody, you guys are going to want me to go over C.J. Mosley. Now, this guy, middle linebacker, let me just tell you guys right off the bat, Sam Mills is going to be the best linebacker in the game no matter what. And I think EA is doing the right thing by making that happen because the Mutt Masters should be relevant. So is this guy garbage? Yes. But it's it's something that he can't really help because he can't be that good because he just happens to play the position of the Mutt Master. Numbers look pretty decent. He is a power up. He would go 96 plus two, you know, I mean 86 plus two, 88. You know, decent speed for a middle linebacker, but who's using middle linebackers other than Mills? Because remember, you can't use them because they can't jump. Unless you put Lurker on them, uh, EA Sports doesn't believe that they should have legs, so they won't react to the ball. So what are you going to do with him? Block shedding 79. His zone coverage 79. He doesn't really do anything that well. So it's nothing exciting about him as a card. I would just avoid it like the plague, you know, in my opinion. But again, that's my opinion about him. Uh, you guys can go ahead and proceed whichever way you would like. All right, and then um, finally we have Le'Veon Bell. Now, this dude's trash. Um, he is now on the Chiefs, I believe, but it doesn't really matter. He's going to go ahead and power up to an 89 plus 2, 91 with Sprinter or Brawler. Change of direction, 90. Who cares? He's not burning a dead ant. This guy right here, you know, even with a theme team, right? 91 plus 2, you're going to go 93. Like, do you want that? What is? Does he, he trucks 86, change of direction, break tackle 85. I guess, well, you got his catch is 77. What's his medium route? 71 he might run routes but i think reggie bush would be better if you wanted to actually have somebody you know running routes i would go with reggie bush as an actual receiving back instead of going with this guy but if he's part of your theme team maybe you're a jets fan god bless you you know what i'm saying like what are you doing doing that but you know maybe you wanted to put him on your squad for that i don't know guys you guys are weird whatever but this guy right here doesn't really matter to me not interested so at the end of the day these cards are going to go down the same route that we've been going down uh, with some of the newly released cards we're going to lurk them if it's possible um and try to get them for cheap because it's 5,000 training so what you guys probably should do um take a look at where the veterans are you know they're at 120 some of these guys start to get your training start to upgrade your team um you got the legends you can try also at, at 90 they might be a little bit more expensive but that's good too and uh we're going to utilize it and see where we can go to get you know that cheaper training because that's what it's all about and then once we do that and we build our team, we're not really concerned with what EA is dropping because we're making something off of it. All right. So let me know. Do you think that Tom Brady's card was fair? I really don't. Uh, let me know your details about it. You know, if you're, you know, Buck fan, Patriots fan, let me know that as well. So I can know if you're being biased. I want to thank you guys and girls for watching. You go ahead and have yourselves a great day. Until next time. One love, y'all.